Yo, what's up guys? It's Connor here bringing you guys another video and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make some awesome thumbnails in 2018 to help get people watching your videos thumbnails are so important and um, I think I have kind of a niche with my thumbnails that is pretty dang cool So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that now the first thing I'm gonna be using Photoshop now, Photoshop, some people don't have it. They think it's a little too expensive, but it is 100% worth it. I think I pay $10 a month or something like that, and I get Photoshop, Lightroom, uh, Premiere Pro, After Effects, uh, everything. Every Photoshop app you can get, and they're professional grade apps, so they work perfect. But anyway, let's get it started right up. Open up Photoshop, go ahead and go to File, New, and then you want 10, 1920 by 1080 that's just the HD universal size so uh, 1920 by 1080 definitely you need that then go ahead and create something new now what I do is for the background image I usually get uh, whatever game I'm playing or uh, just an abstract background of some sort so let's go ahead and paste that in there I just got this off Google you guys can do the same let's go ahead and make it fit there we go go ahead go to filter and first thing I do is go to camera raw. I open up the camera raw. This is mainly for photographers and stuff, but it works pretty good doing this sort of stuff as well. So what I do is I turn down the exposure a little bit and bring up that contrast. It's gonna make everything pop, bring down the highlights a little bit and the shadows up a wee bit. Um, whites and blacks, I just leave the same. And then clarity, I usually pump up all, always. Like I pump it up 100% all the time. Saturation, make it very saturated as you guys can see, because what I'm gonna do now is come back up to filter Go to blur, we're gonna pick the grat, grat, Gratison blur or whatever. Go ahead and pick that one and then keep it around 30 or something like that. And it's just a really nice blurred background that really draws some attention. The next thing I do is I have these kind of overlays, this corner overlay, and I just have them um, already made PSDs in a folder that I can choose from really easy. So then I'm gonna go ahead and highlight the whole side as you guys see, uh, get I lock that layer, get everything highlighted so I can now bring it into this project. Go ahead and make it fit and everything just like that. Now the reason why I have this con con up in the top left is to just let people know that these are my videos that they're clicking on first and really kind of separate my thumbnails from everybody else's. So now that we got that pasted in, I usually uh, just add a new layer and I, I just type, you can type text, you can add images, whatever you want. But for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and type some text. So we're gonna go ahead and say how to make for the first layer, because you gotta divide it up a little bit. You can't fit that, uh, how to make awesome thumbnails 2018 in one line. So you gotta kind of divide it up, bring that up there. And then I double click on that text layer and I already have stroke and, um, gradient overlays and drop shadows already default like my settings. So if I go ahead and click on stroke, it's already at five and there's a white stroke around it. Then gradient overlay, it's already a green gradient overlay and then a drop shadow, it's already set to what I want. So I highly recommend setting defaults. It's gonna make everything go so much faster. Then go ahead and hit okay. Go ahead and add a new layer. And then I'm gonna do uh, awesome. Actually, we'll just do awesome for now. Make this pretty big. Awesome. Make it about that size. That looks about good. And then with this one, I'm still gonna make it green to kind of flow how to make awesome. And then this is where um, I'm gonna go ahead and change the color to really make this thumbnails pop that's what we want go ahead and make that according to size stroke and then I'm just gonna do a color overlay of red and then add the drop shadow behind that and then I'll go ahead and change up the font or sorry not of that I'll go ahead and add a new layer and then we'll type 2018 uh, kind of delete this layer. you don't need to add a new layer Let's go ahead and make this one, uh, we'll just make this color overlay red, just like that. Kind of make it a little bit bigger, maybe in this corner. 
and then I'm gonna go ahead and change this font just to kind of change it up a little bit you don't want everything looking the same I like this top secret kind of font it uh, it really helps things pops then I'm gonna come back down to awesome kind of drag that over there maybe do the same with thumbnails we can kind of make this a little bit bigger and brighter so it's all when, when you're making these thumbnails just think of what you would click on that's basically what you got to do think of what you're gonna click on and it'll help you know what is out there and how people are gonna click so you see this we got the con con up in the top left so people know these are my videos kind of sets things apart in the thumbnail then we got how to make awesome thumbnails 2018 this 2018 is kind of in the top secret font it's like a little stamp up in that left side and it really makes for a good thumbnail it's clean simple and to the point but it also is very visually good looking so then I just go ahead and um, save as and then we'll, t we'll just call this uh, thumb we'll call it thumbnail thumbnail I just use TV for thumbnail because easy peasy lemon squeezy save it as a JPEG save it keep it at 7 you don't need it at 10 for a, a YouTube thumbnail and then go ahead make sure it's saved and everything and now you have an awesome thumbnail so let me know if you guys want me to show you guys how to make uh, these little default or uh, little already saved little overlays I guess you can call them let me know if you want me to make a video on those down in the comments below I will respond to all those comments and uh, let me know how you guys like this video if you guys start using these thumbnails please let me know I would like to see you guys using them and uh, yeah with that said, guys, hope you guys did like this video. Hit that thumbs up button if you did. Don't forget to come back tomorrow because I do post every single day. There's a video and a stream every single day. So make sure you guys check that out. With that said, guys, hope you guys did like this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. And don't forget that subscribers are cool. Later, guys.